Hello everyone and welcome back to the Python machine learning beginner course. In this lecture, we are going to talk about recommended system. So without further ado, let's get started. Well, recommended system actually an unsupervised machine learning algorithm. It's a very powerful technique in terms of business because Google, Facebook, Amazon, all the big giants organization actually use powerful recommended system in order to expand their business. So there are main two types of recommender system exist. One is content based filtering and another is collaborative filtering. First we will see what is content based filtering. Well, let's say we have a movie recommender system where we have only four movies that is Inside Out, Minions, Avengers and Ant-Man. In content based filtering, we always consider only the features or properties of our contents or items. Let's say for these four movies, whether these movies are animated or not. Here Inside Out and Minions are the animated movies, but Avengers and Ant-Man is not animated movies. Let's consider whether those movies are Marvel or not. Here Inside Out and Minions are not Marvel movies, but Avengers and Ant-Man are in Marvel category. Let's say if we consider whether in these movies supervillains exist or not, or whether all these movies pass Bagdell test or not, or whether these movies are alumni or not. So here one thing you can notice that all these features or properties are actually based on the content that is actually our movies. Let's say we already watched Inside Out movies and we liked that movie. So if we consider Inside Out and Minions, here we can see there are three properties matched up. And if we consider Inside Out with Avengers, then we can see one property is matched up, that is Bagdell test. And if we consider Inside Out with Ant-Man, then we can see one property matched up, which is Alumni. So as we said that before, we already watched Inside Out and we liked that movie. So based on this content based filtering recommended system, now it will recommend minions to us out of these three movies. So this is the way actually content based filtering work. Now let's talk about collaborative filtering. In order to understand how collaborative filtering work, again we are going to consider these four movies. Let's say we are going to create a recommended system based on collaborative filtering where we have these four movies only. But this time, instead of considering the properties of these movies, now we are going to consider how our friends actually rate this movie. Let's say one of our friend, Jason, liked all these four movies. Let's say one of our another friend, that is Andy, didn't like Inside Out and Avengers, but he liked Minions and Ant-Man. And our friend Sarah liked Inside Out and Avengers, but she disliked Minions and Ant-Man. And our friend Sam didn't like Inside Out and Minions, but he liked Avengers and Ant-Man. And here we actually liked Inside Out, but we didn't see Minions, Avengers and Ant-Man before. So based on our friend's ratings, whether they liked these movies or not, we are going to see how collaborative filtering recommend us a movie. Okay, here let's say we saw Inside Out and we liked this movie. But here Andy and Sam didn't like Inside Out. So we can eliminate these two rows because they didn't like Inside Out. But Jason and Sarah liked Inside Out. So let's see what other movies Jason and Sarah like that we didn't see. Here we can see for Minions, they gave one vote and for Avengers, they gave two votes and for Ant-Man, they gave one vote. So according to collaborative filtering, our recommended system actually give us the recommendation to see the movie Avengers next. So this is the way actually collaborative filtering work in order to recommend products. Here one thing you can notice that 
It didn't consider any features or properties of the content. It totally depends on how people rate this product. Collaborative filtering have one big problem that is called cold start problem. So what is cold start problem? Well, let's consider you just created a recommender system based on collaborative filtering. But at this moment, you don't have any ratings from the user. So how do you recommend any product to your customer based on collaborative filtering when you just start your recommendation system? There is a one way we can solve this problem. First, we create our recommendation system based on content based filtering. Then after some time, when we have more visitors in our recommended system, then we can ask for ratings for our products and then we can start off collaborative filtering as well. So this is an example of hybrid recommended system where we actually used both content based filtering and collaborative filtering in order to solve cold start problem. And most of the powerful recommended system actually use both content based filtering and collaborative filtering and create hybrid recommended system because it leverage the power of both recommended system that we learned earlier. So that's it for today's lecture. In the next lecture, we're going to talk about principal component analysis. So for all that goodness, I look forward to see you in the next lecture. Until then, enjoy machine learning.